Okay, so we all know that like vertical video is kind of like where it's at, right? Like every platform wants us to be creating vertical video. We've got Instagram Reels, we've got TikToks, we've got YouTube Shorts. And while, um, first of all, horizontal video is not going anywhere, especially here on YouTube. And if you wanna make money on YouTube, it's the way to go. But because we're all trying to create vertical video to appease these platforms, we've got to learn a whole new editing style. We've got to learn how to edit vertical video. We've got to learn how to shoot vertical video. We've got to learn how to make it look right, how to piece everything together. And while it seems easy that you would just like edit it vertically, um, sometimes it's not. So I want to show you how to edit vertical video in the right way with something like Final Cut Pro. Everything I'm talking about can be done on any other software too. But while we do create a lot of our vertical content in app, like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, there are a lot of times when we need to create outside of the app. So let me show you how to do this. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna share an unpopular opinion because who would I be if I didn't? And that is, especially in the beginning, especially as like an untrained vertical editor, I think you need to shoot vertically for vertical content. Now, I definitely think shooting horizontally is the better option overall for most people because you'll have the most like, you know, frame that you can work with or whatever. And if you're trying to shoot a project that needs to be both horizontal and vertical, of course, shoot it horizontally and use what you get for that to make a vertical video. But, 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 I think if you know that it's going to be vertical only, you need to shoot vertically, okay? And there's a ton of resources out there in the world to help you do this. There are like tripod mounts that help you mount your camera or your phone or whatever vertically. This is my Sony a7S III and I have a big hole lens on it right now, but I bought a cage for it that has mounts, you know, throughout the cage. So I can mount this vertically um, and then I can flip my screen up and see what's going on vertically. So that's an option. Obviously filming with your phone is an option or filming with something like this is just, oh, it's so good. Now I'm gonna do a whole video about this thing because it has changed everything I'm doing, honestly. Um, but you can literally film vertical video by the like flick of a finger with this thing. So. Here's horizontal, like I'm filming horizontally right here. And then if you flip the screen and hit continue so it knows you don't wanna turn it off, now it's filming vertically. So I can turn this towards me, like, and film a selfie video with it vertically. Or if I know I wanna be filming something vertically, like I literally just turn this vertically and it's filming a vertical video. So like I say, I have a whole video coming about that little doodad because, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. And this is coming from someone with like 82 cameras. So if I'm obsessed with this little thing, I promise you it's good. But I think the first step of truly getting good vertical video is to film vertically. Now, the reason I say this is because if you are used to filming horizontally, if you are filming horizontally, you are framing subjects and things very differently. So for instance, right here, this video, what you're watching right now with me, okay? It is a horizontal video. I am close to the camera because that's what I wanna do. I am close to y'all, I wanna be close to the mic, all the things, and I don't look obnoxiously close to the camera, I'm just here. But if I take this exact horizontal footage and I make it vertical, then when someone is scrolling their phone, I am real damn close to the camera. It's a little much, it's a little too much for me to think that I'm that close to somebody's view and it's a little too much for the viewer because it feels like a lot. So that's why I say that because framing it is gonna be easier if you can see how it looks vertically and it doesn't, you don't have to like guess what it's gonna look like vertically from the horizontal. But if you are not going to do that and you're gonna film horizontally, keep the vertical frame in mind. So if I knew that I was going to take this video right now that I'm filming and I was also gonna edit part of it vertically for like a reel or whatever, I would not be this close to the camera. I would be filming 
back here at the very least. And this brings in a whole nother set of issues because I would need to have my lav mic because you can hear the difference now. But I would be filming back here. So then I would take this footage and I would punch it in for horizontal, but I would have this better job of like vertical so that I don't feel so close to the camera when we start to edit the vertical footage. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, the rest of it is actually pretty easy because if you are shooting, knowing that you're going to edit vertically, it makes everything a lot freaking easier. And I have a little hack for you that I'm going to show you how to do if you are chopping from a horizontal video and you do feel a little too close to the camera and you want to back it up a little bit but still have good quality. I'm going to show you a little hack for that, okay? But you're going to have to hang tight for the rest of the video because it's it's not it's not time yet, okay? It's not here yet. All right, first things first, I'm going to open Final Cut Pro and I'm going to create a new event with a new project, okay? So again, this will work in whatever software you're wanting to use. This is just how it works on Final Cut Pro. So in here, I'm just gonna leave it in this library and I'm gonna title it vertical, whoops, vertical video test. And right here, normally this would be set to 4K because these are my normal settings. These are my default settings because that's how I edit videos like this. But I'm going to toggle it to vertical. And then in Final Cut Pro, what I like to do is I like to make it either 1080 by 1920 or 4K, which is 2160 by 3840. The, the default is 720 by 1080, which is fine, but most short form content platforms, Instagram, TikTok, all of those, will let you do 1080 by 1920. And you have a little bit of a risk doing 4K vertical because most of these platforms do not allow 4K video. So when you upload it, they're gonna compress it. And that's when you get like really shitty looking you know, content. So I like to go in this middle ground here. And then you also want to match the frame rate of whatever you filmed. 30 is normally going to be what you're doing here. And the rest of this can stay the same with the settings that I currently have. So now we have two things. We have a project timeline down here in Final Cut Pro, which is vertical. You see this here. And we have our, you know, our like media. So now you want to obviously drag whatever footage, whatever effects, all of those things into your media player here into this section so that you have access to it all. And then down here is the timeline just like normal. I'm going to drag a couple of different things in here. I'm going to drag vertical video footage taken from this when I was uh, relearning how to skate. If you haven't seen that video, check out my Instagram. Um, but I filmed vertically on this. And then I'm also going to drag in some horizontal video just like this to show you the difference. Okay, so I filmed, like I say, this skating content vertically. I actually filmed it with this vertically. And um, there's definitely some issues with that. This thing has a like tracker, but when you're skating all over an area, it like loses you. So like, you know, it wasn't perfect. So when you're filming vertically, if you're not paying attention, like if you're not the one filming, then you could lose things out of frame and things like that. So that's definitely something to think about. But as you can see, because it's already vertical content, it, it will populate into the timeline, into the project timeline vertically and automatically, and you don't have to do anything else to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab like a little clip of here and I'm gonna pull it onto my project timeline. So it's already filmed vertically. And so when I'm editing here, I don't have to resize anything. I don't have to do anything on the size side at all. I would then just edit this video like I normally would in Final Cut Pro. So I might like change the colors or, you know, correct the colors or whatever, add a LUT or something like that, add some text, whatever, but it's already vertical and so I don't have to do a lot. Now, if I did want it to be closer, I could go ahead and go up into the edit palette here and just scale this. Um, and I filmed this at 4K. So since the timeline is less than 4K, I can scale pretty big without losing a lot of quality, which is really nice. Um, so I can scale it if I need to, or you know whatever I wanna do here. Now, after that, honestly, it just is like editing a regular video. If you already know how to use Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever you're using, you just do what you would do to a horizontal video. Like you can make cuts, you can do all the things, you can color correct, you can add text, like it's the same. Now, before I show you export settings, I do want to show you what this would look like if you were coming from a horizontal clip 
and things were just a little off. So I'm gonna grab just a small clip of this video here, which is a final video of one I released last week. And I'm just gonna drag that onto the timeline. And you see that it is now a horizontal video on a vertical timeline, right? So what we need to do is we need to fill that space. So I can scale it up. Now, my face is a little too freaking close to the camera because again, I don't really want that much of my face taking up the frame of someone's video when they're scrolling. Number one, it's not what they're used to, so it's gonna be like a shock. Number two, I, you know, I just don't want that. Number three, it's not what they want either, right? But that is kind of what you'll have to deal with if you're filming in a horizontal format. But if you scale this down at all, then you're gonna have weird like bars above and below your video, which you don't want. So what I would recommend doing, and this is the hack, and I have so many people ask me how I do this, when I do this, because this is something that I will do on the regular when I'm taking a video like this one that I'm filming and I'm shrinking it down for vertical content because I don't want my face that close, I will do this little hack, okay? So what I will do now is I will um, scale this to where I'm comfortable with my face. Like, okay, if my face was that close to the camera, like that's okay with me, okay? That's a terrible shot but uh, uh, that's so much better. Anyway, that's okay with me. That doesn't feel too abrupt. That doesn't feel like I'm like all up in the camera, right? So that's fine with me. But again, I have these black bars on the top and the bottom that I'm not gonna want in my vertical content. So what you wanna do is duplicate the whole timeline, the whole clip, everything that's gonna be there, okay? So in Final Cut Pro, I can just do option, click and drag. So I'm just gonna do that. So option, click and drag. Now I have one clip on top, one clip on bottom. They're the same clip, okay? Couple things I need to do. I need to turn down the volume on one of them because otherwise it's gonna be like obnoxiously loud. Unless you are already having like audio like problems and then maybe you could leave them both and they might sound fine. And then I wanna leave the one on top at the size that I just decided was okay with me. And the one on the bottom, I want to scale to fill up those black bars at the top and the bottom. So I can scale it like that or however I wanna do it. And then I wanna take the opacity down. So what's gonna happen when I play this is that the clip in the front and the clip in the back are at the same point. So you can see like everything in the back and the front is moving together. It fills up the frame and now I'm not so big that I'm overwhelming the screen and everything feels more doable, okay? So that is the little hack for if you are gonna do horizontal content and you do run into an issue with, you know, like having yourself and you're a little too big, that's my little hack for that. But again, at this point, you just do everything like you normally would edit. Now, let me show you one more thing or, or talk about one more thing. I'm not even gonna show it because it's not really, it doesn't serve a purpose um, to show it to you. But let me talk about one more thing before I show you the export settings for this vertical content, okay? So if you are using this content in YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram, there's different rules around, well, there's different like, things around how long they need to be, number one, but also around when you can add music, what library you can add music from, like all the things. So what I like to do is if I'm gonna add music, I'm probably just gonna add it in the platform. I'm gonna upload it to Instagram, find a trending song, add it there. I'm gonna upload it to YouTube Shorts, find a trending song, add it there. I'm gonna upload it to TikTok, find a trending song, add it there. If I'm even adding a song at all to it, right? Um, but what I will say is like on Instagram, if it's longer than 90 seconds, you can't add a song. Um, on TikTok, there's some limitations there. So it might be that you want to add music to it here and you can either overlay music, like trending music in TikTok or Instagram or whatever, or you can just leave it the, the sound that you want it to be. Because with short form content, sometimes you don't, like sometimes people are really used to hearing that sound in the background. So what I would do in that instance is I would go to Epidemic Sound 
which is where I use, by the way, this is not sponsored by Epidemic Sound. I love them, but this is not sponsored by them. But I would go to Epidemic Sound and I would find a song that fits what I'm wanting to do here. And I would download that song and go ahead and edit it into the video here. And that way it's done. And you don't have to worry about finding a trending song or whatever if that's something you don't wanna do or if your video is longer than 90 seconds on Instagram or whatever the scenario is. So I would go to Epidemic Sound, that way I'm covered, I don't have any copyright issues and that's how I would export the video, okay? Or again, you can just export it with no sound and add it in platform. So when you wanna export this, what I like to do for vertical content, if I know I'm using it on these platforms that are not going to accept 4K video and they might smush it down and look bad, is I wanna do Apple devices 1080p. And then again, that's, that's the size we're editing in, but you need to go change it to 1080p by 1920 because that is actually the better format for vertical in these platforms. So go into settings, leave everything else the same, but change this 720 by 1280 to 1080 by 1920, okay? That's going to mean that this way of your video, like the bottom part of your horizontal video is 1080 pixels wide while the top part is 1920 pixels wide. And that is the size that most of these platforms are using. So that's what you wanna export as. And then I leave everything else the same and I just export in that way and put it wherever I wanna put it. I've had this piece of content on my calendar for a while now. And every time I go to film it, I'm like, this just seems like duh. But hopefully, hopefully you saw, got some nuggets here. Hopefully this helped you see what settings you should use and you know how you should film and all of those things. Um, and hopefully this will get you on your way to like a, a really beautiful piece of vertical content because you know, who doesn't want that? Like I say, really soon, probably in my next video, I'm gonna do a video all about this puppy because it has changed everything for me, like quite literally, and I'm so excited about it. So definitely stay tuned for that. And especially if you're looking for something to film vertically really easily, this is my this is my recommendation for sure, because it's gonna be higher quality than your phone. And also it's like so much smaller and so much easier. And like, you don't feel as like intrusive with this as you do with a cell phone even. So anyway, stay tuned for that video. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about vertical content, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, peace out, Girl Scout.